Hey, hang with me for two minutes. This won't last longer than two minutes. Otherwise you won't understand the point I'm, I'm going to make. I knew somebody, actually a relative, who smoked all her life. And she'd been told again and again she needed to stop smoking. She didn't stop. And in 58 years old, because he's a just God, God judged her for that. And he let her die from emphysema. I knew another guy. He must have weighed, and I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. I bet this guy weighed close to 500 pounds. He had terrible dietary habits and exercise habits. And uh, he'd been told, warned about it, but he didn't. And because... God is just. That guy died young because God punished him for those bad habits. Now, let me stop right there. That's enough insanity for the moment. You don't believe that, do you? Because it's not true. God didn't judge those people. Their foolish, their foolish behavior is what brought the consequences. God's justice is not into payback. God's justice is not into revenge, but restoration. Isaiah said, the Lord longs to show you grace. He rises up to show you compassion. And then in the same verse, he goes on to say, because God is a God of justice. We get mixed up when we think divine justice and human justice are the same because believe me, they are not. God is into restoration, re rehabilitation, not retribution. In, uh, I think it's the second chapter of my book, Turning Tables, my new book that just came out this week. I wrote a whole chapter about that. I hope you'll get it because if we think that God is, has some sort of sense of justice that requires him to pay us back and punish us when we do wrong, we're, conf we're laying the template of human justice on his face and that does him and us a disservice. Get the book, check out that chapter and let me know what you think.